Okay, here we are with the electrical socket on the wall. On a concrete wall. Uh, I got the wires already out. I'm about to connect that in just a second here. Um, conduit pipe. And then I just put a lot of staples at the top to kind of hold this pipe still for now. And then when the drop ceiling gets put in, we'll cut a hole out for it so that'll hold it tight. It goes around and then it comes out of our box. So I'll show connecting that too. Um, but I'm going to have another one go over that way and drop down into that pipe. But uh, I'll show this one. I think I've already got a video of doing electrical, but yeah, anyway, I got another one here, so. Got the uh, positive, negative, and our ground here are common in houses. Um, black's going to go on the brass side with my uh, shepherd's hook going with the, the screw. And then just personal preference. I always use the top one if it's uh, if it's not going to have a wire coming off of it, which this one's not. So, and then I always twist the extra brass one in, especially on this one because I'm putting it into a metal box. I think my other video I've got of the electricals got me putting it into a, uh, a plastic box, which I just feel is a lot safer. But I don't trust the electrical inside of a metal box. So common goes on the silver side. And then your ground is going to go all the way down to the bottom green. And then an extra step I'm going to do on this one that I didn't do on any of my other electrical videos is I'm going to put electrical tape around the connections um, just for added safety feeling whatever for me since this one's in a metal box again. So you want to get, make sure you go underneath your screw for mounting it. But I'm going to wrap around all the other wires. And then I'd have to, on the bottom, make sure I don't uh, get that screw either. Kind of weave around it. around the top one again and then you know one and a half two laps around the racetrack is good enough for me it's just an added safety feeling makes me feel a little bit better about it and then just 
bend it like any other light receptacle. And just push it in, start your screwing in, and this receptacle is done. center it up on these get nice and tight can't move and uh, now you could say it's overkill with the tape I mean because if you look in there there's you know half inch on each side but I don't know it just makes me feel better so that's what I do when it's in a metal box. So I'm going to repeat that step over on the other side. And, uh, and we'll be done with the bedroom as far as electrical goes. Keep watching and uh, we appreciate all our subscribers. Thank you for watching.